Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled, Nothing is Missing, Awareness Contains Everything. This lesson has a great par parallel to, is a great parallel to the Empowerment One course and certain lessons in that, such as there is no lack, parallel realities, shifting timelines, etc. Those topics that I address in the Empowerment One course, this one is sort of the awareness take on that similar idea of abundance of realizing that nothing is ever missing, that everything that has ever existed will continue to exist forever, and everything that has not yet come to pass already existed before you were born 100 million years ago. So, awareness contains everything, and therefore nothing is missing. We've seen, um, this is a follow-up on the previous two lessons as well, because we've seen in the previous two lessons that Appearances don't actually have independent beingness from the outside. Objects don't exist and then enter your perception of their existence. You're, you perceiving them is their existence. Your perception is what they base themselves off of. You generate their presence. So if you understand this principle, and I know it's a bit of a subtle science, it's a bit of a subtle realization, but you can totally do this and I'm absolutely convinced, convinced that you've already had some glimpses at the very least of this understanding by simply repeating the previous couple of lessons and meditations. So taking that one step further is to realize that since nothing that appears has an independent existence, that means I'm conjuring it up into existence. Now, where from do you conjure up these appearances, these objects? From the infinite field, which is not really a field, it's simply a fieldless, spaceless, timeless potential, which is intelligence itself or awareness itself, which we could call just, I just call it in general, the, collect, the, sorry, the, the infinite field of possibilities or the field of infinite possibilities, which is, don't get me wrong, it's not a field apart from awareness. It is awareness, it's intelligence itself. And it's inseparable, it's the same thing. Awareness is that infinite possibility, infinite potential field. It holds the potential for all creations. Not only that, but we could even go as far as to say that everything that can exist already does exist, even manifest, even in a manifest way, even experientially. It's even being experienced as we speak in the timeless all at onceness of now by a certain level of the overall consciousness of all that is. So awareness on some level experiences already every possible configuration of creation that can ever potentially be experienced. Right now, it is experiencing that all the time. You see, each reality is experienced all the time on its own level. We simply shift to an alternate parallel reality, and again, more in this is explained in the empowerment course. But Consciousness shifts into a parallel reality and then another parallel reality and then another parallel reality. That's how we experience motion and change and evolution and time and all that. But statically speaking, each reality is its own static complete reality with its own level of conscious awareness. In other words, every parallel reality is already being experienced all the time, timelessly so right now. It's simply your I am consciousness that has the choice to move from one layer, layer of consciousness to another level of consciousness, to another level of reality, to another configuration of creation, etc. So we generate the sense of past and future in that sense. But everything always already exists inside of awareness itself, because awareness is that infinite potential for all experiences. And in fact, on some level of its awareness, it's experiencing everything all at once all the time. And this cannot be gotten rid of. So whatever disappears from your view, as we've seen in a few previous lesson, that things that come and go don't have beingness, let them come and go, etc. As they seemingly go or leave your view, that means that on that level, they're still being viewed by an another portion of your awareness that you're simply not shifting into with your conscious 
consciousness. You have to understand that the all that is consciousness, which ultimately is what you are, is conscious of all realities in their timeless state all the time because there is no time from that level. So everything is experienced all at once, in our terms, all the time, from its own point of view, all at once, or all now, all timelessly experienced, all the time, therefore. So when you understand this, when you fully start to understand this, you also become you start to feel more invincible as awareness because you realize that your happiness indeed is found in awareness. But not only that, but everything that comes and goes still somehow is contained inside of your awareness. And everything your heart truly desires, that your higher self truly desires for your expression here on earth, is already part of the relevance of the probability of what will be made manifest for your particular I am consciousness perception. In other words, you don't have to worry about the things you truly desire because you can know with utter confidence that they already exist and that on some level of your consciousness, you are already experiencing these things as fully as you are experiencing this conversation right now. To simply know this allows you to feel very expanded and allows you to tune into much more of your greater overall higher self-awareness and therefore become more as it, see more as it sees. See more in terms of abundance and freedom and expansiveness and infinite limited possibilities, limitless possibilities. When you see in that way, when you know that all realities already exist inside of your awareness, therefore nothing can ever be lost. And all that you can ever do is find more of yourself, have more fun with other portions of your consciousness that already experience other realities. And you can simply move through these different realities and you will over time, quote unquote, over time, do that, do so and experience the things you truly wish to experience that are truly relevant for you, that truly allow you to express who you truly are and find out more of who you are. So we can also then feel that nothing is missing. If everything is already present inside of the all that is awareness, then nothing can be missing. If nothing is missing, we don't have to seek because this also applies to spiritual realizations, non-duality, realizing oneness and unity and awareness and realizing that we are the changeless. All of these subtle spiritual realizations always already are also experienced by a certain level of your awareness already. All you need to do is tune into that particular level of your awareness. And this may either take you some practice and time based on your belief systems and what you've gathered from your past and all that stuff in terms of experience. But nevertheless, just know that a level of your awareness is already having any type of realization you could ever potentially have. You're not going to achieve a new realization. Enlightenment is not this vain idea for the individual to then attain, oh, now I've grasped awareness or enlightenment. No, enlightenment already exists on its own level. You don't have to worry about it. You can simply relax into what's already here, which is awareness, and through that spaciousness and freedom, direct more of your awareness, more of your freedom in the direction of your desire, which can be spaciousness, freedom, uh, enlightenment, etc. But a certain level of your awareness is always already experiencing anything that has ever been created, made manifest or remained non-physical or is on the level of spiritual realizations. It doesn't matter. Awareness has got it all covered right now, timelessly so, eternally available. Nothing is missing. Everything is contained by awareness. So knowing this, you can rest and you can let go of your seeking because everything you will ever truly desire is already experienced by another portion of your being. So simply allow that to inspire you with trust and relaxation. Oh, wait a second. Doesn't mean you necessarily give up on your dreams. It simply means that you give up on the stress that I need to attain it. And if I don't, I'm a failure. It means that you know and trust and you entrust, literally entrust the rest of your consciousness, the rest of your awareness, which you may not be conscious of with your limited perspective, but that's okay. You entrust the rest of yourself with the, with the fact, the knowingness, with the confidence, with the reciprocated faith that you know that it's already experiencing what you're looking for and that it's only a matter of quote unquote time or vibratory changes or lessons you need to quote unquote learn and absorb before you will embody those qualities of awareness, those realizations of awareness or those manifestations of creation. Everything that you truly desire is already inside of your field of probable realities. 
You simply need to allow yourself to know that they're already experienced by another portion of your very own higher consciousness. So you're already experiencing them, no worries. Don't worry, there's no time, there's no lack, there's no failure. There is only success because everything is already experienced all the time, all at once. So trust this, know that everything is inside of awareness. Con awareness contains every possible desired reality and all possible realities, and therefore nothing is missing. If you are of the vibratory conviction state of I am resting as awareness and nothing is missing, then everything you desire becomes more and more quickly apparent to you or made manifest or is attracted into your view, into your conscious view, precisely because you're not resisting it, precisely because you're not saying that it's not yet here, precisely because you're not pushing it away, but you know that you're already experiencing it on a different level of your consciousness. Therefore, oh, you're simply at rest in the now, present to who you are, your essence of I am or I, aware, I awareness. And therefore in that restfulness and conviction, oh, creation loves conviction, by the way, it loves confidence. When you're confident and free and relaxed, confident in your chosen reality, then it will bring to you effortlessly the things you truly desire. Because it simply responds to your vibratory state of awareness, of consciousness. So if you're of the conviction of everything is already experienced and free, then you can simply relax, enjoy this moment, and somehow that other portion of your consciousness that's already experiencing it, you will start to naturally shift into that vibratory state that is then representative of the creation that you desire. So nothing is missing. Awareness contains literally everything that can ever be experienced. So relax, you've got this covered already before you were even born. This is simply a fun journey of exploring the potential of awareness in a certain way. So the homework for this lesson is simply to listen to this lesson a couple more times before you open up your next lesson. And here's another item on the list of two things to do for this homework. And that is to make a conviction with yourself, make a pact with yourself, an agreement that you will positively let go of stressful seeking by remembering again and again that everything is already experienced by your overall awareness. And even if you, from your limited I am presence, consciousness, awareness, do not have the expansiveness or the vibratory state commensurate with that reality right now, or that spiritual realization, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're seeking for, just because you're not of the vibratory state of that level yet, that does not mean that your overall awareness is not already got that thing covered and is not already experiencing it. It is. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. You wouldn't even have a drive to seek for it. So another portion of your being has already got everything covered for you. All you need to do is relax and know that this is the case and that there is only infinite abundance. Everything is taken care of and you can relax your way into experiencing more of who you wish to experience yourself as. Enjoy, make this agreement with yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson.